Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to today's vlog. Happy New Year. Today's video is the first video of the new year. I'm so excited to start off 2022. Um, it's actually New Year's Eve when I'm filming this, so we're not really doing anything. We were invited to a New Year's party, but with like COVID going rampant within my family right now, I'm not. I'm not doing that. And I'm honestly probably going to cancel Ollie's birthday party as well because, oh, thank you. Thank you. You're so nice today. I have that. What? A cookie. You want a cookie? Yeah. Is that the only reason you're giving me hugs? Yeah. Wow, that's just mean. Uh, we're sitting here watching Encanto. We, well, I really like this movie. I don't know how much he actually likes it, but I love it. I think it's a fantastic movie and the message is amazing. Oh, okay. thank you, baby. Um, but yeah, we were not going to the party. Lily actually leaves at five o'clock and we're kind of just hanging out for the rest of the day. We're not really doing anything. I'm still picking up from Christmas. I undecorated yesterday. Um, I did a lot of stuff yesterday. I'm just trying to keep myself on track. I have a few things to do, like take some Instagram pictures and stuff like that today to um, post for the month. I'm trying to get a good amount of them done. I have a few TikToks to do. I'm just a busy woman, so I'm just doing that today, keeping myself occupied. Um, I went food shopping and did all that yesterday. What? Yeah, he's, he's being silly. He's eating fruit snacks. You eat it. You eat it. What is it? Is it a shark or a dinosaur? Shark. I think that's a dinosaur. That's a dinosaur. What, what color is it? Orange. Orange dinosaur. He needs another haircut already. We just got it done about a month ago. And he needs another one. What color is that? What color? Yellow. Is it a shark? No, it's a dinosaur. You're not even looking at it. Um, we ended up buying him a new potty for down here because I don't think that penguin one is just like enough for him. So, all right, buddy. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. What color is that? Red. What? No, that's purple. Um, we bought him a new potty so he can go down here because he's starting to tell us that he has to go to the bathroom. And Lily's upstairs with her PC. Like I said, she leaves at five, so we're pretty much not doing anything. Lily and I are sitting here watching Thor. She doesn't understand any of it. Uh, she wants to get through the movies to watch Spider-Man and that's all she wants to watch. So, uh, I'm folding a crap ton of laundry. Ollie's, I don't know if he's sleeping yet, but he's upstairs. Um, we're gonna be doing some Instagram stuff. Anthony's waiting for Nick to drive him home and then he'll be home. So I'm doing all of this laundry right now to pick out outfits for Lily and then start on the Instagram. I don't really know if I wanna go outside to do the post because it's raining. So I guess we'll figure it out as we go. But I cleaned the whole house. Everything's kind of really bland. Like my house is just very empty other than toys. So I think I might go on Target's website and try to like find some decorations that I really like um, because our no spend starts tomorrow. <laughs> so if I spend all the money today, it's fine. I finally finished taking all the pictures of Lily after she complained like a million times. We didn't get through Thor. She's actually leaving a little bit early to go to her dad's. Uh, he asked to take her a little bit early. He's having like a New Year's party, I don't know. Um, Ollie's up, Anthony's home. They're playing with puzzles. I redid my nails because I was just getting pissed off with like the fake nails. So I just put nail polish on my regular nails. I've mentioned Madame Glam a couple of times, but this is the shade. This is the shade. It's called Cafe U Latte? I don't know. It's, I'll put it on here because I think it's French. Um, but it's a pretty color. It's, it's like a off nude. 
I've hidden all my supplies in my desk, so now I can just paint my nails whenever I have a free time. Um, but yeah, we are kind of just hanging out, doing nothing. Anthony and I are going to start drinking because, you know, it's New Year's. We're still going to drink, but we ain't having nobody over. <laughs> Anthony and I, since we have met, have never made it to 12 o'clock. <laughs> we just don't care about New Year's. We made steaks and mashed potatoes and some air fried garlic Brussels sprouts. So that's for dinner. Uh, we decided like a week ago to have like a nicer dinner um, just because it's, you know, New Year's Eve. So we're gonna do this and then we're probably gonna run a movie when Ollie goes to bed. But this is basically what we're gonna be doing. Our New Year's is pretty boring. Lily's already gone, it's around five o'clock. Dinner's done, we're gonna eat. Ollie's playing with puzzles. We're gonna sit and watch a movie, put him to bed. I got a mimosa going on and Anthony's got a beer. Um, it's nothing crazy. We're not taking shots and going crazy, but we're gonna drink a little bit, watch a movie, enjoy before New Year's. Okay, like I said like a million times, we're really not doing anything for New Year's Eve. Um, Anthony has put the child to sleep. We're kind of just, he's cleaning up downstairs and then he's gonna head up. Um, I really want to get this film before like the fireworks start because it's non-stop when they start um, so I just really want to tell you guys some of our goals and our resolutions for the year and what we really look forward to in 2022 I just wanted to share with you some of the amazing memories that I have from 2021 I mean we don't have a lot because we didn't do much due to like COVID still happening um, but we did have like a great year. Anthony got his CDL and he's now a driver. So that's a really good uh, accomplishment. Ali has started daycare. He is now socially a butterfly. Um, he interacts really well with other children. He shares. He talks really well now due to like being around other children. Um, he also had his surgery, which has helped tremendously with his speech. Um, he is now starting to get potty trained um i know at the beginning of the year we were like oh we're determined to get him potty trained but like that is like on their terms type of thing so he has sat on the potty and gone on the potty so that is a huge accomplishment for him and then uh for me i went back to work but i also invested in my brand and now i'm getting sponsorships and i'm really proud of myself and this is something that I've been working for for like a whole year. I've been focusing a, a I've been focusing a lot of my time on my YouTube brand and like building up my TikTok and building up my Instagram and just being more present on social media and that has paid off. It's been a lot of work, but it's definitely something that I'm super that I'm super proud of this year. That is the biggest accomplishment that I've made this year other than you know being a good mom <laughs> um but yeah Lily has started sixth grade she's a straight A student she's doing amazing and she was rewarded with a huge PC that she's absolutely loving so yeah Lily has grown into like a little woman all of a sudden uh we were looking back at pictures of Ollie when he was first born and Lily looked like a toddler <laughs> and now she's like an adult she's almost as tall as me so that's something to be really proud of she's changing and she's dealing with that change in a positive way so I'm pretty pretty proud of her in that way um, she's also going back to work she's also going back to school and she's also become a social butterfly when she was in school like over a year ago she only had like one friend that she really just focused on this year she has branched out and reached out to a lot of other people. She goes out and hangs out with them at the park. She goes to their houses. It's a lot better for her to be like socially interacting with other kids at this age. To bounce off each other or just to, you know, have someone to talk to. So that has been very amazing on her part. So this is like what we're really excited about for... 2021 it did have a few ups and downs like I did have to go back to work which I was really sad about I didn't want to go back but you know I had to financially we could not afford for me to stay home um and it was like really depressing to put in Ollie into daycare but after seeing his progress at daycare it's been amazing um it's the best choice we've ever made if you're thinking of putting your 
son or daughter into daycare um, and it's an option for you, I would highly suggest it just for the social interaction alone. Like he's made a lot of new friends and he obviously he learned how to talk within a week. He's saying his ABCs in a week. I think the influence of other children is a lot better than you trying to teach them ABCs. Like Ollie just did not care if I sang him the ABCs a million times a day. He would not sing it, uh, but he would come home like the week, the first week he started singing the ABC. So that's just something, the influence of other children and watching them do something has definitely made a big impact on him, his talking. Um, and I also think it's starting to do with his potty training too, because all of a sudden he just does not like his pull-ups. He's in like a bigger room now, instead of like the toddler area where everybody's in pull-ups, the other kids, um, as soon as they get over there they're supposed to be potty trained or like trying to be potty trained so Ollie is now in that room um and he's I mean like they're like he's really progressed he's smart he picks up on things really quickly so um, they moved him from the toddler room to like the preschool area and those kids are potty trained so I think that's what influenced him to start wanting to be potty trained because no one else has to you know get his, their diaper changed or pull up change to everybody else goes on the potty so I think that's starting to like click in his head that he needs to like go on the potty um so yeah these are like some amazing milestones that we've hit it's not like crazy like we didn't buy a house or you know we didn't do anything crazy but we still hit milestones that I'm really proud of this year um if you would like to tell us in the comments what you're proud of this year it could be like the smallest little thing like you got a kitten Please just let us know because I would love to hear from you guys. Um, and some of the stuff that we're really excited for for next year, it it's, all depends on if we can be disciplined enough to actually do it. So our main focus is to pay off debt and to buy a house at the end of the year or the beginning of 2023. That is our biggest goal and we want to keep ourselves accountable and completely do the zero based budget put our money towards everything that we can and just get rid of this debt because it's just holding us back we need to get rid of it and then we can continue on with our lives we can do anything pretty much like this is the financial burden that we put on ourselves a couple years ago and we just haven't been able to pay it off we just been focused on, on other things and I basically like told my family like look this is just not the year please don't invite me to anything we really don't want to spend any extra money we do have a little wiggle room I did buy like the um budgeting with B template for Excel um I can leave it linked down below if she still has it available but that's a really good budget plan like I've already set up my whole January plan and all I have to do is like put everything in and it does all the math for me um and I put everything like I have a miscellaneous spot where I can spend about $200 on miscellaneous items say for the house or if we need anything or say whatever um I put money for the pets and then like Ollie's birthday is obviously coming up so I put some money for that and then Anything that I have like extra money for it's gonna go towards debt. So say Anthony makes more than what my budget is entailing um, Then that money would go directly towards something um, It needs to be put towards something and that's what we're doing. So Just to get rid of our debt <laughs> I want to stay focused a hundred percent on doing that and that is our one main focus for the whole year I mean obviously trying to get pregnant was is another one we really want to have a baby but if it's not in the the future for the next year it's something that we will have to look into for IVF or like fertility treatments or something because I'm obviously having a lot of time like trouble getting pregnant and it's been over a year trying and we're just not not getting there um, but because we're focusing so much on our debt and trying to buy a house, I don't think we can also add on like the financial burden of fertility treatments. It's just way too much right now. So we want to focus on one thing at a time and as soon as we can buy a house, then we'll start trying for IVF if we don't get pregnant naturally. Um, 
So that's where we're at with the baby situation. Like that's something we definitely want to maybe look into in the future. But for right now, um, if I can't get pregnant naturally, we're going to have to wait until we buy a house. And that's like basically our plan. Um, and hopefully I can get pregnant naturally. Like, so put your little baby dust out there. Uh, but yeah, this is basically the only two things we really want to focus on. We want to get Ollie completely potty trained. Anthony wants to progress in his company. Um, obviously he's got a CDL, like he's only been doing it for a couple of months driving. So he wants to become driver of the year, which is a good goal. And we want to really focus on ourselves. Like I feel like we put too much pressure on ourselves to please other people. And we're tired of doing that. We really want to focus on our main family, which is the four of us. And we want to be able to like grow as a family and do things by ourselves and not have to like go out of our house at every holiday. We're just tired of like doing all the traveling and, and we're just tired of spending a lot of money. Gas is really high right now and just to go to my parents is like 20 minutes away and both ways it's like half a tank. So like we kind of just don't want to continue to do that. It's not helping our financial burden. It's just keeping it. <laughs> the same so if we cut out some things of like going to birthday parties like it's not like we don't want to go it's just my cousin has like seven kids and if I go to every single birthday party I'm out like $300 <laughs> like there's like a lot of things that you know add up throughout the year that you could just completely cut out we're cutting out alcohol um, we drank a little yesterday with Nick and Tara, but we only had what we had and that was it Like we didn't buy anything new and that's what we're gonna stick to if we run out of alcohol Then that's it. We don't have anything in the house. We don't um, we, we don't really drink anyway, so it doesn't matter We're not trying to eat out. We kept to our plan of the mood or the food the monthly food this is all like something that we progressed to so like I started this a couple months ago and it's worked for us so now I'm going to continue it throughout the next year so we don't have to eat out and that also helps with my grocery bill so it's not too expensive so these are just small tricks that we're help like intertwining into our lives that will help us for our no spend so yeah hopefully that happens and like I said the baby and that's pretty much it like I think Ali has accomplished so much this year that like I'm not gonna put too much pressure on him to be like this amazing golden child. I want him to progress how he progresses and that's fine with me. Any milestones that he reaches is going to be something that I'm proud of so I'm not putting any pressure on that. Same thing with Lily um, when she's ready to go out and do something she's ready to go out and do something so that's pretty much like I don't put any pressure on my children to learn something or do something. I mean, I was really trying to get him potty trained this year just because we didn't want to have to put him into daycare with like diapers and stuff and having to worry to like bring that everywhere. So um, we're kind of just tired of bringing diapers everywhere we go. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much why we tried to get him potty trained. Um, not because we care like we we don't care that he's not potty trained he, we just i have to bring like a whole bag with me every time i go somewhere because he needs the pull-ups and the kid has like a weird every time we go out he goes to the bathroom and i'm not saying like the number one he goes a number two every time he's in the car i don't know what that's about but like every single time i'm out he just is stanking so i have to bring my stuff every time i go out and that kind of is just like i want to be able to run out the door anyways i'm going on a tangent um but yeah that's pretty much what i want to do next year if you have any resolutions or any goals for next year please let me know in the comment section i would love to hear all of your dreams and all of the things that you want to do for the next year obviously we're still trying to stick to like the whole covid situation so we're not like you know going super crazy i mean we do have a trip for disney coming up so that's something that we're looking forward to and 100 percent we want to go <laughs> like i really don't want to skip out this year um so yeah that's also something we're doing but we'll see <laughs> if it actually happens we've been trying to go to disney for like two years now 
yeah let me know trips that you're planning are you trying for a baby as well did you get a new pet are you trying to budget like we are? are you trying to lose weight are you trying to better yourself just let me know in the comments i would love to know so we're gonna probably just hang out watch movie relax in bed uh i'm gonna end this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.